Hello everyone, welcome in or welcome back. I need to, as always, put things away in my binder. I'm getting so close, <laughs> so close to being caught up. Um, I can, I can sense it, I can feel it, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So let's go ahead and put a bunch of stuff away today. I have a lot of thinking to do <laughs> about my OT7 solo projects binder. Um, so let's start with that one. First and foremost, I'm finally, finally able to take this stupid placeholder out. I'm just gonna slide the whole paper up because it's easier and put in Junie's last card. Oh my gosh, he's so pretty. Let me get a dragon shield for him because he only has his inner sleeve right now. Alrighty, here we are. Oh, I'm so happy. This card, I have thought this card was gorgeous from like the moment that I saw all of the cards. And of course it was the one that I did not manage to get until the very, very end. But you know, what can you do? Such is life. Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I'm done with that. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, beautiful. His photofolio is finally done. Um, let's talk about this page. This page is a hot mess. Let's fix this. Okay, so I have these to put away and I don't really know what to do because initially I wanted to keep all of these together. Ones from his like full sized normal album, the book version I wanna say it was. And then I have the Weaver's Albums little ones down here, the postcard version. This one was from Weaver's Global. And this one was from US, so I kind of think it would be nice if I could put them like here. But that means this one's like an odd man out. Oh, the struggle. And then I have these guys, which I think would be nice, like, across from one another. But we have this. These are colorful. So maybe... Oh gosh, guys, what do I do? Okay, hear me out, and please don't threaten to hunt me down for this. We're gonna move those. I love these Japan Fan Club and the UMS. I think these are so gorgeous. Um, and they're colorful. We're gonna go at the top to offset the Weaver's Weaver's postcard. <laughs> I know words. Um, colorful ones down at the bottom. Guys, my mic is in like the worst position for me to be doing this right now. I don't know why I'm like this. Okay, and then. Well, this one on top for now. I was kind of thinking about switching it with the bottom one, but we'll see. Okay, which leaves this. And I have these three. I really like, honestly, that this is in the middle here. So what I'm gonna do is take whichever one of these I love the least, not to say I dislike, but love the least, and I'll put it on the back of this, which for me is this one. So, oh, this way. I'll put these here. And this one back here. And then I just have him poking through right here on the back. But I really, really like that fabric card with the, the title showing. Okay, that's not bad actually. That's not terrible. It has like a weird amount of balance to it and like a weird amount of non-balance. <laughs> okay, good enough for me. Please don't hate me for the choices that I have made today. Okay. Um, I do have some uh, quick updates for Jin. 
had to grab them real quick sorry about that still waiting on pirate gin i have a potential trade for him so cross your fingers for me please i'm desperate at this point okay so Ryder ash was so 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 sweet and sent me my missing uto sticker i am so happy i've held on to it for a while i just haven't <laughs> put it in here um i'm so happy now here's the thing <laughs> because i have problems um my merch for Jin stuff came in and um they also had stickers <laughs> uh this isn't all of them i also had another set but it's a set of duplicates so i'm leaving it aside um so here's the thing i had thought that i just needed it's one through four so i was going to double collect but it's actually one through eight so i technically technically don't need double up of these because i can collect <laughs> the five six seven and eight of the merch ones uh, so i have these i did go ahead and buy because i have problems and i'm a clown the other stickers i'm missing and didn't get myself in my merch uh, so those are on the way um so yes i think what i'm gonna do i think is i'm going to take up the second row of these put in the five, six, seven, eight number stickers once I get all of them. And then take two of my favorite Uto's that I have duplicates of and two of my favorite Jinnies I have duplicates of and use them as filler here. Um, and I might go ahead and make this like starry sky paper filler for all of these. Yes, I think that's the plan. So actually I won't put these in now. I'll wait to get my other ones in. Um, so I can kind of see like the whole vision and do it all in one go because otherwise it's going to look like a mess and it finally looks like a whole page. So we're going to hold on this. Still nothing for Yoongi confirmed yet besides his photo folio, um, which I will set up later. I'm not setting it up now. Um, I'm so excited. I joined a go for the first time ever for Hobie's photo folio and Yoongi's photo folio. Um, that way I could potentially, hopefully, get all three random cards. Um, Hobie's is already confirmed. The Go manager opened everything up and looked at the cards. I'll be getting all three of his random cards and of course his standard and the three books and all his inclusions. Um, hopefully the shuffling goes well for Yoongi's as well and I won't have a problem getting his randoms either. Okay, Hobie. I got his vinyl in a little while back. So this was previously holding place until then. And this was just a duplicate card. And I think I kind of want to keep it in here. Okay. Yay. Oh, that makes me so happy. Wow. Oh, I love this page so, so, so much. Words cannot even express. Okay, Jimin, Park Jimin, the Park Jimin. Um, he is giving us so much. <laughs> He's giving us so much in terms of. Oh, I still never figured out what to do about that. I'm still missing that card. Um, he's giving us so much. So let's talk setting up for album. I do not feel like fighting with my grande pages right now. So I will be using my very nice uh, Japanese pages that I get from um, usually like Amazon Japan or sometimes other sites to set up Jimin stuff right now. And then when I actually get cards in, I will probably switch up to grande. So Jimin is giving everything. <laughs> And I just could not mentally keep track. I made a list and then I made another list and I made another list and it was just too much. So I wanted to be able to see it as like a page or, you know, three. <laughs> so I just made some super quick binder fillers, um, like little placeholders. 
I just drew them up super fast, printed them out, cut them up, and then wrote in um, with pencil so I can reuse them what we're all getting. So let me speed through putting all this away and then I can just talk through it super fast. Okay, so we have on the first page all the things from his like full-sized album, not the Weavers one, but the, the larger one. So he has two versions, Invisible, and it comes with a set of three cards by default in every album. The Undefinable version, same thing, comes with three cards uh, in every album. And then there's three random cards that you can pull from either version. So one, two, three randoms. And then on the second page, I'm putting the two Weavers album random cards. Um, in the middle up top, on the top row, is the early bird benefit, which should be a hollow selfie PC, I believe, from Weavers Global. On the outside in the middle, we have two different random Weavers Global pre-order benefit cards that you could potentially get. I'm honestly crossing my fingers. I just get them both. <laughs> um, but I'm not ordering a copious amount of these. I think I'm only ordering two sets from Global. So really the odds just need to be in my favor. And if not, I'm really just hoping that anyone that I know uh, who's collecting for Jimin this time around might be able to help me <laughs> with a trade. So we'll see. And um, there was, I think, a notice about vinyl information coming in the future. So I'm assuming we're gonna get a vinyl for him. I'm really hoping, I hope that everyone has a vinyl. I love vinyls. So I'm assuming there will be a card with that. At the bottom, on the outside, we have two Japan Fan Club cards and the UMS card. And then the last page, I only made one placeholder, um, but it's his lucky draws if he does what Junie and Ginny did and what BTS as a whole usually does. Um, there should be in theory three sets of three, uh, Soundwave, M2U, and Power Station. Um, and since Jimin is part of my buy everything line, I will be getting all of his lucky draws possible. Um, I would have bought a whole bunch for Hobie also, but he only had the two Hybin Sight cards, but that's okay. It saved my wallet. Although I would love to have even more Hobie cards, but it's fine. So this is the current plan or Jiminy. I'm curious to see if we get an announcement about Yungles with an album before his tour. Um, I would really love if so, and then we can set up for that as well. Okay, Tay Tay, let us finally look at putting some stuff away for Tay. Okay, I had to move the binder out of the way so that I could get this stuff in frame. So this is what I made for Tay Tay. Um, oh shoot, I need to put these pages for Junie and also we'll do that after um okay so we have three pages for Tay and I have clearly not put the cards in yet I do have all of the photo cards from his folio but I wanted to be able to show you the pages I did first so this is where the photo cards will go and it may be kind of confusing at first like how is that going to work that's very busy already um so I think what I'm going to do is put this picture down like right at the bottom here so that the beautiful days at the top shows and then each of these will go roughly in the middle so that all of the miscellaneous details whether they're top or bottom um, will show and I'll just uh, tape these down all of these items were a cut up of his little like notebook booklet type thing um, I didn't cut this one up, obviously. I cut up one of my spares, and I do still have another one that's not this one that is intact as well. Um, and I did put them all in sleeves, so I won't be taping, like, the photo card sleeve directly to the paper. I'll be taping a sleeve to a sleeve. So all the items will stay intact very nicely in case I ever want to rearrange things or move things around. But, yeah, this is the vision. This is the plan. I think it turned out nicely. Let me go ahead and get some tape, tape these guys down, and then we can take a, an actual look at it, like the finished product. Okay, finished product. So 
let's just zoom in a little touch a little touch um this is what it turned out to look like so we have um him in his little white suit up top and then his blue suits on the outside brown suit on the inside i really like how it turned out i was kind of at a loss i wasn't really sure um what i was gonna do for these and this just kind of came to me uh suddenly <laughs> so i hope y'all like it i certainly do i think it's very fitting for the aesthetic of the photo folio i guess um, the back is nothing special. It's literally just lines and <laughs> brown and whatnot. So anyways, yeah, that's how it turned out. And then all of his inclusions are here in this two pocket. Um, we have his notebook, which I did open up to the second page uh, for the little picture of him. And then all of the various stickers. I did sleeve them and then tape them down so they'd stay. Uh, so there's that. And as usual my little stamps and postcard on the bottom. So let me grab my binder again. Okay. Now we can put these in here. I cannot wait, obviously for my OB photo folio, but especially for Yoongi's because I don't have anything for him yet. Like he's literally has nothing in this binder <laughs> at this point um and it makes me so sad <laughs> so i really can't wait to get his folios in yay oh that turned out so nice oh i'm so happy i was very nervous about this one guys <laughs> okay let me go back to junie super quick and just at the end of his stuff here we're gonna put in a couple of the larger inclusions that i just hadn't put in yet i had kind of forgotten about them but it's okay yay and also actually now that i think about it i made a placeholder for this i was just doing those jimin ones and i was like i might as well do one for jin's card okay okay now, gosh, I'm so happy about Tate's stuff. Oh, yay. Okay, so just a couple things to put in this section here. So I do have a couple more of these. I had ordered these a while, while, while back, um, and I just have not done an update for this section in a bit. I was holding off on buying any more of these, um, oops, until my other OT7 photo folio set came in. I ordered another one because I really needed another one of those big boxes to store the books. So I have one set of books out with the spines on display and then all my spares, since I have bought three of each, um, are going into those boxes and um, I'm sure that one of each member would fit nicely in there but two of each member does not <laughs> so I just needed another box anyways I was waiting to buy more of these until I saw my pull um, <laughs> but I pulled a duplicate so I think I have an extra Yoongi and an extra Jimin to sell I think I pulled Yoonmin double double yay okay so I need Jenny, Tay Tay, and Jungkook. I will probably post these for trade soon. Um, if anyone has a Jenny, Tay Tay, or Jungkook they want to trade for a Yoongi or a Jimin, let me know. Okay, beautiful. And then one more quick thing. This Jungkook is a little bit bent he came to me a little damaged in his book so i'm just swapping him out for one that is not damaged and adding tay tay's standard card as well here we go oops I can't wait to get Hobie and Jimin's folios. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do here. 
I'll probably just have to make something and then we'll get Hobie and Jin and Hobie and Jimin. Hobie and Yoongi. And then hopefully we'll be getting, I know we'll be getting Jimin soon, obviously, um, album, but hopefully we'll be able to get some stuff. Uh, I'm assuming that Yoongi's going to have something before his tour, right? To add to all of his music. I mean, he has a lot of music already, um, but it'd be, you know, really cool timing to have an album come out as well. And then um, once we get a release from Tete and Jungkook, I'll be able to put something in there. Yay! Okay, this binder's good. Let us move on along to our Korean album binder. I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> Okay, so Korean album, just the PC type items. Um, I have quite the odd array to put away, so let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I finally have another one to add to this page, which means I'm only missing one. I just need to find Yungles, and then I'll be completely done with these. Um, this card, along with a couple others, came to me in like a total fluke. Um, I really wanted the like, old postcards um hang on let me just grab them here we go okay so i had wanted um the darker wild like postcards um and i got i found a posting a listing that had a set of all of these um the postcards including this little like little comic fold out page super super cute um and it had several of junie's photo cards um, many of which I actually needed. <laughs> uh, so I was very excited. It was super reasonably priced and I just jumped on it. Okay. So anyways, that's how I have this little guy. <laughs> um, it is also how I have this one here. Making progress, slow but steady. And then... I have a Tay Tay to put away. Does bother me that the coloring's a bit off, but when these are so old, it's just to be expected at this point. Um, do I have anything for here? No, I don't believe so. Let's see, we're gonna skip just a couple pages. Oh, I'm so, oh, I'm so excited. I'm finally finishing these. This also came in that set that I was talking about. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh, and he's so cute in these. I seriously, these are some of my favorite, 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 favorite cards. I love these. They show so much personality. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Yay. Let's keep going. I really need to make this a priority. I need to finish these. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. No, that's done already. Again, we're ignoring these. I'm just differentiating old press by new press. Please ignore. Okay. And we'll put Obi away. If he'll go nicely into the center. Thank you. That's not even centered. Whatever, I'll fix it later. <laughs> And then another Hobie. I got these both from the same individual. They had a couple of things for sale and I was like, I'll take all the Hobies, thanks so much. Oh wait, I have one more. I have Yungles. I do wish the backgrounds were all the same on these. <laughs> they either have to be like all the same or all different, but <laughs> Whatever it is, what it is. Nice and snug. Oh, I love this page. Gosh. Um, actually, we need another page because I have these from the vinyl. So I need to decide where to put them. I think I'm going to put them actually in front of these. Uh, so that all the album ones are connected and if we do get more vinyls like in the love yourself series for example 
Then what I'll probably end up doing is putting all the vinyls back to back to back and then the albums um, back to back to back as well. So let me get another nine pocket page for these. Ta-da! Okay, let's put this guy away. Much better. Yay! Okay. Um, now a dilemma. Quite the dilemma here. Let me flip all the way back. Oh my gosh. Okay. Proof stuff. So I have this guy, which is good. Quite exciting even. But then it gets a little iffy because I have all of this stuff and no idea what to do with it. <laughs> um, okay. So I don't think there's any convenient place for me to fit it in. Oh, I still need Jungkook's card for the Weverse pre-order benefit. This page is already full. I already utilized my corners on this one. Same here. <laughs> And I'm not putting it on there. So, okay. These are solidly proof. These are in theory the same, but they're not really cards. They're kind of like, are these stickers technically? I don't even remember. These are technically yet to come Busan, but like they're part of the proof time frame, I guess. And these are also solidly like proof so what do we do I also really want to get the other two of these but gosh it's just so much money it's just not something I plan to do anytime soon um, it's not something that I can justify right now with a lot of other expenses I'm, I'm currently experiencing uh, so I can't even plan around getting these ones um Okay, here's what we do. Maybe, you know what? Mm, maybe... Mm, okay, let's... Well, actually... No, let's try it. Hang on one second. <laughs> okay, here's what we're working with. So I took the two cards from the Hive Insight um, and I took them out of here. Place them at the top and bottom. We've got, so we've got kind of like light cards here, light cards here. We have the Yet to Come Busan. We have the exhibition, little hand-drawn ones. And then we have our proof lucky draws, the limited ones. Um, and then in the middle here, I'll put just like a, probably like a white or something placeholder. Um, but it'd be nice if I could get another one of these cards and put BTS OT7, like the back of one facing out this way, so everyone's still represented. Uh, so yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. And I really, really like all these cards. <laughs> I would love to put them like right in the front, but like technically, technically, I usually do lucky draws after everything. Um, maybe I can do them before these lucky draws, because technically after these is like the collector's edition stuff and also the in the psalm. So I'll put it here for now and I'll leave actually that middle one blank so you can see through to this until I figure out a card for here. Yeah, I think that turned out okay. And obviously I'm leaving out all of these little um, things from the sticker set for now. I will find another place for them. Um, but just considering the items that I was putting on this page, I wanted them all to be like, you know, big, nice, fancy cards and not just the little stickers. So I will, I could just put those here as filler, um, but I'll probably find something else to do with them. So, yay, okay. I think that's good. And I do have, like I showed earlier, those postcards from like Dark and Wild and whatever, um, but I will just find a place in my um, larger inclusions binder for all of those so yay all done thank you so much for hanging out and for dealing with my ever-present chaos i'm getting closer inch by inch and pc by pc to getting everything put away so that i can do a full binder tour 
for um, my one-ish year of collecting this month. So that'll be super exciting. Um, I'm sure it'll be a super long video. I still can't decide, should I talk throughout it or should it be just like a silent flip through with just like quiet music? I don't know. I know that some people enjoy listening to me talk and some people I'm sure really don't. <laughs> so uh, let me know what you think down below. I'd really appreciate your input. But yes, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.